In this episode, you will learn how to add a powerful heat map-like visualization of structure activity relationship, or SAR, to your reports in PowerPoint. You can generate the SAR table using Excel from a list of compounds and any measured property, for example, a biological activity. Let's begin by opening an SDF containing both structures and assay data using quick import from the JChem ribbon. Click open from the JChem ribbon, select compounds to import.sdf. For more information about other import options, please check the corresponding link in the video description. These are actual compounds with PDE inhibitory activity from the publicly available Kemble database. I need to evaluate selectivity of variants for the PDE10 target, so I will first calculate the ratio of PDE10, PDE2 values. Type selectivity in the next column and add the formula as seen on screen. Copy to all cells below. The lower this number, the higher the selectivity of this ligand for the PDE10 target. We are ready to run the R group decomposition based on a selected scaffold. Click R group decomposition from the chemistry group. The query structure specifies the scaffold with R atoms given at all variable positions. You can double click here to open the built in chemical sketcher and draw your scaffold. I will import mine from a file. I have three R groups here, R1, R2 and R3. We need to check the Generate SAR Table Only checkbox in order to get the SAR table. You can experiment what happens if this box is not checked. You will get a decomposition report rather than an SAR matrix. You can see my query has three variable positions or R atoms but only two at a time can be selected for SAR analysis. You can choose the combination of any two of the R atom positions and the rest of the positions will be aggregated accordingly. To make it clear, run a decomposition with at least three R group positions and inspect the formula behind one of the values on the resulting worksheet. Select the columns with the relevant biological activities or any column you would like to use as a response in your SAR analysis. Use Shift and Control to select more than one column. In case of running R group decomposition, you may directly load compounds from a file in the Target Structures section. Since we selected Generate SAR Table only, we can only use the structures already in the worksheet. On the next tab, you may modify the default settings for R group decomposition. For more information on each of these options, please follow the link given in the video description to our documentation. I only change the attachment mark because I prefer the Chemax on standard. Three SAR tables were generated for the three selected responses, IC50 for PDE10, PDE2 and selectivity for PDE10, each of them displayed on a separate sheet. We want to see the combination with best selectivity for PDE10, so I will apply some conditional formatting to make the lowest values stand out for highest selectivity. The SAR table is ready. All we need to do is copy it to PowerPoint for our scientific report. Let's decrease the number of decimal places in the SAR table to make it look better on the slide. Please note that the SAR table we pasted into PowerPoint also has active chemical structures, so by double-clicking the scaffold, you can edit it. 
However, this will not affect the R group decomposition already on the slide. Thank you for watching. For more tutorial videos and updates from Chemaxon, stay tuned and subscribe to our YouTube channel.